Dear Heavenly Father, bless this school year. Guide us and direct us as your people. In Jesus' name, amen. We are living in ever-changing and challenging times, but also in times of great opportunity. Now more than ever, we need to stay hydrated. Water, the benefits are transformational. John chapter four, living water. As we experience his living water, we are given life, both right now and for eternity. And eternity, I'm told, is a really, really long time. Now more than ever is the time of fatigue. Vince Lombardi said, fatigue makes cowards of us all. Bill Hinn says, fatigue makes us grouchy and gossipy. Thank you for taking the time to refresh and renew yourself because you have a great calling, sharing Christ with kids, helping them to believe that God created each one of them for his special purpose. When I served as the principal of St. John Lutheran School in Rochester, Michigan, our team talked about the crunch of the month of May. In May, there was gonna be an explosion or an implosion. It was predictable. Somehow knowing it was coming made it easier to endure. It often happened with the most unexpected people. One year, one of our most relational and least reactive teachers and one of our most supportive parents, two of them, had a supernova explosion. No one saw that coming over a decision about a dress code revision. What could possibly go wrong? You know firsthand this past May was like no other May. And this August and this September and this October may well be like no other August, no other September. Lots of fatigue, lots of stress, perhaps an explosion or two, an implosion or three. Now more than ever, we need kindness and encouragement. We need to be quick to forgive, including ourselves. David Kessler co-authored with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross the book on grief and grieving, finding the meaning of grief through the five stages of loss. David Kessler says this about the current pandemic, quote, you can also think about how to let go of what you can't control. What your neighbor is doing is out of your control. What is in your control is staying six feet away from them and washing your hands. Focus on that. Finally, it's a good time to stock up on compassion. Everyone will have different levels of fear and grief, and it manifests itself in different ways. A coworker got very snippy with me the other day, and I thought, that's not like this person. That's how they're dealing with this. I'm seeing their fear and anxiety. So be patient. Think about who someone usually is and not who they seem to be in this moment." End quote. Anxious and highly stress-filled times and anxious and highly stress-filled people are blessed by your kindness and encouragement. Now more than ever, we need Romans chapter eight. Romans eight verse one, therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans eight verse 18, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans eight twenty six and 27, in the same way the spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans too deep for words. 
And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And Romans 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Notice, it does not say that all things are good. It says that in all things, God works good. Make no mistake, this pandemic is not a good thing. Many have lost their jobs. Many deaths worldwide. Much isolation. But in the midst of the great pause, God is at work through you. The power of one man, Nehemiah, living in fellowship with God was well used. Today's greatest need is for people who live in fellowship with God. You are raising up the next Peter, the next Nehemiah, the next Deborah. As you live in fellowship with God, God through his Holy Spirit is using you in a mighty way right where he has placed you. And finally, Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now more than ever, God walks with you. Now more than ever and always, God walks with you and with each of your students. It's gonna be a wild and crazy year. God has got this. God has got you. Have a great year in the Lord. If you are alive and breathing, praise the Lord.